Good morning. morning. How are you guys doing? So I was here. I was on my phone for most of the time, but I was tweeting. So I tweeted a picture of you guys because I'm so proud of you and all that you've done and all that you're about to do. So Newark Collegiate Academy 2013, congratulations. Congratulations. I I wanna thank the staff, the teachers, everyone who makes this possible. This is our future and you guys are going to go on to achieve greatness. To the parents, congratulations, because when one of us graduate, we all graduate. It's so good to be back home. I I, uh, travel the country often and and I still practice full-time emergency medicine here in Newark. And um, you know, it just does my heart good to be back and seeing academic excellence. I wanna leave you with a few lessons that I found to be helpful throughout my travel. Um, First, know who you are. Get to know who you are. Do not compromise, do not waver, do not ever give up on believing in yourself. People are going to tell you that you can't do the impossible simply because they can't do it. And we call these people haters, right? (laughs) So let haters do what they do. They're very good at what they do. They hate and they excel at hating. So you have to be the antithesis of that. You have to believe in yourself. Growing up here, you know, it was tough, and, and, and I don't have to really give the backdrop because we know, we know what it is. But that grit is what make you who you are. That grit is going to help you to understand other people's plights and other people's problems and other people's hardship. So as you excel and climb that ladder, you're going to know how it is to struggle. And that's important because a child or an adult who has been given everything in life, they don't understand the value of what it takes. So know who you are. Know who you are. Keep pushing and believe in yourself. Go for, forward as far as you can. Now, when I got to college, the haters told me I would never make it. They said, you would never become a doctor. Come on, man. <laughs> who are you kidding? from Newark. And I was like, nah, I want to be a doctor. And back then, you know, like parents, Trapper John, MD, and Quincy, y'all don't know about that. That's, <laughs> that's before flat screens and cell phones. Um, so, and I got to college and, and, the, um, and the freshman orientation, they say, look to your left and look to your right. One of you guys is not going to be here. So I got a little nervous. You know, I was like, man, I hope it's not me. You know, I'm, I don't know if I can make it. But they somewhat messed up because when I stepped on college campus, they showed me my dorm. So I was like, all right, cool, it's a room. But, you know, for me, six, five five siblings in a two-bedroom home, you do the math. I didn't have my own room, and I certainly didn't have my own bed. So when I had my own bed and I had a roommate, like, that's cool. And then they said, you're going to have AC in the summer, and you're going to have heat in the winter. (laughs) Now, understand... I did have those, those things. I had heat and I had AC, but it was somewhat backwards. I had heat in the summer and I had AC in the winter. <laughs> so when I was able to match it up correctly, I was like, man, I'm already so. Then they say you're going to have a meal plan. <laughs> my brother likes to eat, man. So when they told me I had a meal plan, I was, man, I'm like, what else? Like, and they's, oh, there's more. There's more. They're like, and you get your own phone. Now, don't get it wrong, we had a phone in our house, come on. It wasn't always on, but we had a phone. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's so funny, because back then there used to be pay phones. You know what a pay phone is? <laughs> right? It's a, it's a big machine that goes on a wall, and you have to put change in it to, uh, yeah, like quarters, and but back then it was a dime. So, you know, uh, growing up poor, and I often say, you know, poor and free, because I was awarded a lot of uh, 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 grants and scholarships for college. I said poor and free goes together. But uh, somebody told me poor and uh, well, poor and free goes together. Somebody told me free goes with everything. So, you know, I was uh, um, awarded the opportunity there. But being poor and trying to make a you know, phone call when your phone is cut off, um, you didn't always have change. So do you guys know how to make a free collect call? Yeah? 
You know how to do that? Yeah. All right, I'm just making sure. Because you know, when you call somebody collect, they absorb the charges, right? But what you do is when you call and when the operator asks for your name, the recording, you just say the telephone number you're calling from and then you hang up, right? And then the person, <laughs> y'all know what I'm talking about, right? And then the person calls you back so that they don't get charged. So, you know, the beauty about all this is that you're not alone. So when it used to be a line for the pay phone, like, and you're like, man, you know, I got to hurry up because, you know, my girlfriend's going to call me in a little bit. And this is my phone, but it's not your phone. It's a, it's a public phone. So, so once I found out I had my own phone, man, I was like, what? You know, I am not going anywhere. I am not leaving this university. And so I did well, and I excel, and I got all A's. And and B's and you know and 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 I moved forward and college was by far the best time of my life and all the naysayers who say you couldn't do it it was corny it was whack I mean they had no clue and, and part of why they said that is because they didn't have the experience and they thought you know that that was true and that's what they heard but I mean the, the being in college and the friends and the relationships you develop and the road trips you take going down to Howard homecoming and uh, back then we had the freak Nick in Atlanta and the freak Nick Everybody's screaming. That's why they did away with it. <laughs> I mean, the word freak alone just makes... You tell your parents in college, you're going to the freak nick. They're like, oh, no. You're not going to no freak nick at all. Uh, so know who you are. Surround yourself with positive people. I was fortunate to have both uh, Rami Hunt and George Jenkins uh, with me along the way. And uh, we made this pact and this promise. And it wasn't necessarily... Academics wasn't a cool thing, and it still isn't. It's a shame because getting an A on a test is the coolest thing out. I mean, you can't begin to understand the best investment you can make is the investment within yourself and a belief in yourself. So when people call you a nerd for getting an A today, that's fine because they be calling you boss tomorrow. So, you know, know, know who you are. Know who you are. Um, and, and with that, you just take that energy and you keep going. And so that's the first thing that I've found. The second thing is aim for the stars. There's no need to settle for the roof or halfway up or the top floor. Aim for the stars. Go beyond what you can see in your immediate future, your immediate today. Because as you start to walk that journey of a thousand miles, you'll be surprised how much territory, how much you cover in that walk. When I first started, I was sitting here listening to the, the introduction, and when I used to do my resumes before, I was like, man, I don't have anything. I don't have no research experience. I don't have any accolades. So I used to have to quadruple space just to fill up the page. You know, but over time, these things start to build for you. And before you know it, you start to achieve. And before you know it, it's like you just start to grow. And, and what you thought was where you're going to settle, you're going to go beyond that. So keep pushing forward. Don't give up. Always believe, keep pushing. It's going to get tough. I can promise you there's going to be hardships. There's going to be struggles, but you are made. You are made to overcome those hardships and those struggles, so keep pushing. You wouldn't be here now, today, if you can't do it. So keep pushing. Go as far as your sights can see, and when you can't see beyond that, just keep on going, because believe me, there is... It, I can't begin to tell you what's on the other side waiting for you. I thought this just going to college and medical school and graduating, I thought that was going to be it. And once I received my degree, I was happy to come back home. But so much more has blossomed from that. The opportunity to write books, the opportunity to be on television. And the books, for, for me, when we first wrote the pack, it was, an, it, was a, it was a call to action. It was a need for me because there weren't many materials out there that spoke to who I was as an individual and from where I came from. I mean, it's cool, Shakespeare is great, but Shakespeare don't, doesn't live in Newark, you know? So, and, and so to put out something that I felt that you can read and, and, and in those dark hours when you're in college or you're pursuing your, your profession, you're an entrepreneur, you wanna give up in those dark hours, I feel like you, know, you need that word of inspiration, you need that word of courage, you need that motivation. And so the pack was that answer 
to that call. And so when I was sitting there in class in medical school, it looked like everybody in medical school class had a family member who profession ended in ologists, radiologists, cardiologists, and you know, I didn't, my family members, you know, it wasn't ologists uh, <laughs> behind their names. Uh, but having that positive circle, or surrounding yourself with that positive circle, you, you can pursue and you can move forward. When you have that negative circle, that negative circle drains you, it pulls you down. So you have to choose your friends wisely. And so, you know, I often say, I often say the bus is moving, and so you don't want to miss the bus. For those who miss the bus, you don't want to wake up 40 years old living in your mama's basement, all right? There's nothing sexy trying to bring home a date living in your mama's basement at 40 years old, and you're trying to explain to her, like, nah, it's like both our houses, you know, I just let her live upstairs. <laughs> And I live downstairs, you know. You know, his mom's alone. I can't kick her out. Nah, it's it's not that way. So, you know, um, surround yourself with positive people. I was by far, I wasn't nowhere near the smartest person in my class, but I started to hang out with smart people, and, and it's like osmosis and reactions that started to take place. All of a sudden, you're hanging around with smart people, you start to feel smart. You don't know why, but you just start to feel smart. <laughs> And so make sure you, you surround yourself with, um, you know, with smart people. So the lessons, know who you are, surround yourself with smart people, keep pushing. And the last lesson that I found to be helpful for myself is always, always, um, and this is somewhat of a combination, always give back, always give back, and always do the right thing. Always do the right thing. I wish, I wish I can tell you that there's a shortcut in life. There's not, all right? Uh, some people are born with great talents. You have LeBron James and, you know, who does his thing, and then you have, um, and I only mention LeBron because that's what we all wanted to do growing up. Either you wanted to be a rapper or, or a sports player, athlete, right? But LeBron isn't giving up his title, nor his name. Right? He's going to hold his. Same with Lil Wayne, same with Drake, Drizzy, whatever, you know. Started from the bottom. Yeah, yeah right. So they're not giving up their titles. But at the same time, you have titles waiting for you, whether it's the CEO of your company, architect, doctor, lawyer, astronaut, teacher, educator, journalist. You have titles waiting for you. So be Great, do the right thing, because when you be great, when you're great and you do the right thing, you become memorable.